Hello, this is Yamasaurus Legs. Welcome to my World of Warcraft Pit Battle series, and today we're doing Garrison Battle, and it is Hanos, Fatos, and Manos, the Hands of Fate. These are actually relatively easy to beat. I've been levelling some 22, 23, 24 pets with them so far today. Found a pretty decent strategy, which as long as you're not punished by RNG too much, will work. And when it revolves around his warbot. Now, these are all magic pets, which means they take majority damage from Dragon King abilities. However, however, I'm not particularly blessed with Dragon Kings. <laughs> so, I thought to myself, well, let's try something else. So, I thought, well, I've had a bit of a mess around. And eventually, out of all the 25 pets, level 25 pets that I've got, I thought I'd try a bit of mechanicals. So, I tried some mechanicals, I tried Warbot and Menagerie Custodian. I think I was leveling Clockwork. Clock, clockwork, no, I was trying to level him, you see. So, what I did, got him leveled out of the way. Strategy worked quite well. So I've just been popping pets into the middle slot. So we start off with Warbot, Missile, Minefield, Extra Plating. I've put Leopard Tree Frog in. Because um, the Aquatic Abilities don't do much to magic pets, I've gone with the Critter, Anti Critter Abilities. Sorry, the Critter Damage Abilities, which is Tongue Lash and Swarm of Flies. And I'll just put him and Waving in the middle. Because I'll be using the Aquatic Abilities. There's no point using Cleansing Rain because Aquatic Abilities deal 25% more damage but if I'm not using them, that's point. And then I've with the Menagerie Custodian who's rapidly becoming one of my favourite uh, mechanicals that like Clockwork now and his turret ability is just about still in front. Zap, Shock and Awe, Iron Cannon as a finisher. Right, so, uh, here we are now. These pets use magic abilities, arcane storm, mana surge, arcane slash. Suffice to say, if I was using flying pets, they wouldn't last long against these three. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, extra plating first. Not much damage comes off these uh, magic abilities. I don't want to drop mines. And the trick is, if you get the if the RNGs work out, you can actually use Warbot to drop mines that will affect every one of the other two when they're coming. And then we simply use Missile until Manus is dead. Well, we don't. We have to have a little break and pop in another set of uh, extra plating. The problem with extra plating is the cooldown is longer on it than it's actually ability lasts for. So you can't. Um, pop it the round before that like, you can shell shield and keep it up, which is a bit of a shame. Really, no. I don't know what we want is for Manos to die before we do. Yep. So that when Hanos comes in, he triggers the minefield, and then we launch another minefield to have a bit of extra life on that. Should get a shot off as well. Then. So now this minefield will attack Phaetos. He comes in Phaetos, Phaetos, Phaetos. This does make him get blinded. This is his, uh, his invisibility, which is quite awkward in itself. And then he uses an ability called Flash, blinds it the target. Quite awkward. This is why we use um, the minefield because it allows you to get a head start on these um, a bit of damage just in case you have to pull your level in better corner early. Pull 
was foggy out now. Last week we started doing the deal with the ground. Phytos comes in. Boom. It missed. It never, ever misses. That is ridiculous. It never misses that bit. From me, Phytos, is he's got this really hard hit ability called Seas, which really hurts. I mean, as we go start in, you have to get him down to about 600 health to reliably use on um, cannons to finish him off. So this now just becomes a, a race to the finish. Just where it is. Should be okay now. And there we have it. So that works pretty much. I would say ninety percent of the time for me, that has actually worked. I've managed to level the pet off it. Um, obviously, if you put yeah, level twenty-five, you now if you got a couple of level twenty-five dragon kings that deal a lot of magic damage, and uh, you can easily get you. Your mark of pet mastery. And I think I did it this morning and I used my Skylinks. Use a spawn of Nixia. He's set for the magic abilities. Pretty much burn through them. But there's, there's quite a few options for stuff against magic. And the beauty, of course, is that you don't have to use. Magic damage as long as you're using pets which take less damage. Well, don't take extra damage from magic abilities. These three are quite doable. So that's that then. So, um, good luck. I'll point to note they only give about 17, was it 1680 XP? So they're not giving your pets over and above a level each. It's, it's probably just under a level per battle or just over. We're just under a level per battle. So uh, I wouldn't sit there all day just grinding away on them. Especially since it's going to be difficult to level pets which aren't. I'll try this Marsh Fiddler and see how he does. If I'm a base sort of level that I'll be able to work from, you're probably talking, you might not get a Summit Kid through with the 21. Definitely 22s onwards. So if you've got any pets who are sitting towards the top, you don't want to chuck stones at them. Just pop them through the, the gamut here a few times and soon have them levelled. Alright, that's it from me. Goodbye.